Trevor St. Marty, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Yourself? Well, thank you. All right, so the plan for today is we're going to have a look at your running biomechanics yep. um, to see how it's affecting your Achilles and, and hip issues. So what we're looking at here is the, the muscle length around your, your hip and pelvis. So um, the four main muscles we're looking at are your hip flexors, your quads, your ITB, and then your groin. Looking down here, you're getting a little bit more than 90 degree or less than 90 degree hip flexion at your knee, which is telling me that your quads are a little bit too tight. We're going to do two single leg squats, left side first, then your right side. We're going to compare and see what's happening at your pelvis and your knees as well. Okay, so you can see that you're, you're dropping your hip a little bit there and your, your balance isn't great either on the right side and see the sort of the difference between your left and your right there. Okay, so Marty, from a physio perspective, we've identified a couple of issues that we need to work on, including your hip stability and some muscle length stuff as well. Um, I've just brought Bridget, our podiatrist, in. Um, she's going to have a look at your feet and make sure um, that the positioning and everything is, is as it should be and okay. whether anything yep. is contributing to your problems. All right, I'll get you to swing your feet up for me, Marty. Let's yep. have a look at your joint range of motion. So look at your right side first. So have a look at your ankle joint first. So you're quite stiff through there. We should be able to get your foot a fair bit further back than that. Pulling forward, you're quite stiff through there as well. If we have a look at your big toe now, if we simulate weight bearing, there's not a lot of movement there, okay? If I take weight bearing away, you can get further back. Yep. We should be able to do that even with weight bearing. All right, Marty, so we're gonna do your running assessment in here on the treadmill. So if you wanna have a step up on here for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it up to a comfortable walking pace. I'm gonna take a video of that to get a baseline um, using the camera that's behind you. Then we're gonna bring it up to a running pace, all right? And I'll take a video of that. Then we're gonna pop your shoes on and do the same running pace with your shoes on to see what the differences are with stability of a shoe. Alrighty, so I'll take you over to the computer now and I'm going to run you through the videos. This program slows your images down frame by frame so that we can see what you're doing through each part of your gait cycle. As you're coming down on your right foot, you can see where the laser line is. You're really wanting to cross over the midline of your body, which puts a lot more stress through your hip and your lower back, which the physio will talk to you about. As you come down and land, if I draw another line up the centre here, as we can see, your foot's massively overpronating there, okay? So this is a really common problem that we see nearly every day through the clinic, okay? So we're going to organise some orthotics for you, get the physio working with us on some rehab exercises and treatment through locally through your hip and pelvis. So if you listen to your running and I showed you on the screen that you're quite heavy with your landing, um, now the, the effects of that is because your calf and your musculature isn't taking some of the load, you, you put yourself at risk of more sort of bony injuries and, and joint issues. From my point of view, what we're going to do is give you a few rehab exercises that we're going to go through. Um, you're going to do them religiously over the next six weeks, um, and then we'll have a look at your running again at that point and see what improvements we've made. Okay, okay so this is the footage we've taken of you today, so let's run through it. So as you can see here, when you come down, you're in a much more neutral position on that left side. You're pushing straight off over your big toe now instead of pushing right off to the side, which is fantastic, so less stress on those smaller joints. The biggest benefit of this biomechanical assessment is that we can um, slow things down so we're really not missing any um, little issues that might be uh, lying under the surface. Whether you're trying to treat pain or um, also if you're trying to improve performance, you could just be trying to run that a little bit quicker or be to PB or you might actually have pain that we're trying to resolve. I think we're unique in the fact that we're getting a lot of different approaches uh, to the gait analysis. So we're getting, you know, a, a podiatry view and a view from a physiotherapist's opinion and um, sometimes even my therapy and osteo. And in that respect, we're sort of getting the big, the big picture. We're able to see all the different issues um, that are contributing to this person's injury um, so that we're getting a fully resolved, successful um, outcome.